Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on oxygen not included. In this I'm going to show you how to use priorities to get the most out of your duplicates. I know when I first started this game I used to set my toilets and my algae deoxidizers and all of my buildings to level 7 or 8 because I wanted them to be you know, done quickly. However this leads to problems in the later game where you have a duplicate all the way away on the edge of the map and he runs halfway across the map to disinfect a toilet or put coal in a, a coal generator. So to deal with this we've been given this priority system up here. Now we'll get into this later what I've set it to but just a, a quick example here we've got uh, four duplicates. We've got Brains the researcher, Dog's body, their job is to well do all the jobs no one else wants to do. Restock stuff, clean toilets, that kind of thing. Dig Dug, dedicated digger and construction and Tinker Doug. His primary focus is to operate machines, secondary is digging and constructing. Now we're just gonna start the day here and watch what all the duplicates do. Brains, straight to research. Doug's body, straight into doing the toilets. Uh, Tinker Doug's getting a new hat, never mind, forgot about that one. Anyway, Dig Doug, straight to digging, because Dig Doug is a beast. And Tinker Doug, right behind him. Uh, so everyone's doing the jobs they're assigned. Oh, sorry. One second, sand. Now, once Dog's body's finished doing the daily chores, comes to help out in the digging and constructing. And everything is running smoothly. Hmm. Oh, yeah, research is complete. Uh, no brains, keep stay at that station. That's what you're good at. So. Anyway, oh, I've also set uh, Doug's body here to, oh, there we go, topping up the algae deoxidizer. Excellent. See, they'll actually stop working, stop digging and constructing, and help, and actually top up the algae deoxidizer. And I've even set Muckroot as a level four. So they'll actually collect Muckroot as it falls down and put it in my food storage, just to prevent it getting into the hands of those uh, hatches or claws. Now, Tinker Doug, oh yes. He's coming back to top up the battery because it was running low and Tinker Doug, oh, that's his main focus. He wants to actually do machines or dig. Now, how is this all achieved? They're all doing the jobs they're supposed to be doing and priorities are all left at five. Well, it's all in here. Let's look at uh, Dog's body first. They're the, they're the linchpin that holds all of this together. And the main, main skills are digging and building. These two skills here basically they're the main ones you're going to want to focus on. In this instance, Dog's body has had their build and dig lowered by two points. In fact, if you go any further, they literally never do them anymore. So by lowering those two points, we've made sure that they will always stock algae deoxidizers, everything. They will do all the chores, every single thing else, before they even think about building or digging. They're basically dedicated towards maintaining the base before they help with expansion or construction. If all of those things are done, then, and only then, will help out with building and digging. And then it's basically the reverse for everyone else. For example, Tinker Doug here, he has building and digging set as plus one on both. However, he has operate set at plus two. Now, operate up here, if you hover over these, it will tell you what it actually affects. And that's uh, generate power, tinker, deliver, use a fan, all these things. So basically, he'll do rock granulators, oil refineries, all of these jobs, he will specialize in those first, and then if none of those jobs are available, he will then default to building and digging. Uh, brains, pretty much the same thing, except they're specialized in research, followed by building and digging. Only when all those jobs are done, will they even consider doing any of the chores around the base. Uh, Dig Dug, just a dedicated builder in construction. It's, it's always nice to have one of these, so it always means you have one person who's gonna be building those infrastructure projects that you want to help expand your base. Now, using this setup, it scales very well into the late game. Uh, cycle 2300, you're going to have a lot more dupes, and you'll probably have a couple of dogs' bodies at that point, just because of the sheer amount of labor they're going to be taking part in. You'll also get along a, an art dog. Art dog would, of course, specialize in art, and then in his spare time, help out in the digging and constructing. But this allows you to make sure that when your duplicates leave in the morning, they go for the jobs they're designed to do, and they will specialize and get better and faster at doing those jobs. 
for example, let's have a quick look at Dig Dug here. He's, yeah, he's specialized in digging and he's been doing that all day. He's got 150% bonus to digging speed, meaning he has the dig capacity of uh, two and a half normal duplicates, which means I want him on the front line. His time where he's not in the front line is time wasted. Um, and Brains Dog over here, of course, has huge learning skills. So, using this system, this scales wonderfully, works easy, and you don't have to mess around with the commands too much. And you can actually use level 4 commands and still have them actually actioned upon. And if you need something constructed in an emergency, let's just say... No. Yeah. You want an emergency building of any sort, place it down, set its priority to 6, and Dig Dug will immediately get on that. That's a level 6 command. So, using this, with the new patch coming out, I think you could definitely maximize how you get the most out of your duplicates from all the way from the early game to the late game. Okay, now that we know we can specialize our duplicates, it's now time to choose our starting three. And here is a here is my normal three starters that I would pick. Now, first thing though, I'm gonna mention interests. I've tested a few of these three of them and they don't actually appear to do what they say on the tin. They're supposed to improve how quickly they master a job but currently it doesn't appear to be implemented and the game is still in alpha so this may change in the future but as of right now you can safely ignore this interest section entirely. That said, first up we have a dig dug. They're going to be doing all the early digging and construction and the one trait you want to get here is mole hands. Mole hands gives them a plus three to digging on top of their normal level. But the trick here is it doesn't actually change their level for leveling purposes. They'll still dig like they have their plus three, but as far as the game is concerned, they have a level zero digging skill, which means after about two cycles or so, they're going to have done enough digging to gain level one digging, bringing them up to level four. This means they'll level up really quickly through those first few points and quickly stack up to a level five or six. Now, if you had a, a picked a dig dug who naturally just had plus five digging, it will take them a very long time to get from plus five to plus six. In fact, the time it takes them to get from a five to a six being a natural digger, a mole hands, even with just this basic starting three, will get to that level six faster. So you really want to get a mole hands in, and secondary, you want some construction points. Digging and construction is going to be their bread and butter, and this duplicate will probably hollow out most of your home starting zone. So having these points, having a few points in each of these, very useful. Any additional points in learning or athletics, also very handy. Uh, you could definitely get better ones than this. I mean, I've only got three in each. You can definitely get four points or five points in each of these if you want to spin long enough, but you don't want to be spending 20 minutes on this screen rolling for duplicates. Uh, next up, we have your brains. Brains over here will be doing most of the research and we've gotten him quick learner for the same reason we gave mole hands to Dig Dug. He'll be doing most of your research and having the quick learning skill adding a plus three on top of it, well, take into account that this also increases his skill leveling by 50%, this level five. He will go from level five to level six or seven pretty quickly. He will level up faster than a, a normal duplicant without the quick learner skill, even if they have the same or slightly more points. And then last but not least, we have the dog's body. This is a tricky one. And uh, they're going to be doing a little bit of everything. They're going to be running around, stocking things, cooking, farming. They're pretty much a general all-rounder, but if you had to pick one stat, it would be athletics. So you normally want to go for a twinkle toes on these. Any additional points in learning or cooking, also appreciated. They, they really do help out. Cooking, in fact, is one of the longest jobs to do. It takes about 30 seconds per meal. So having a few points in learning to help them learn cooking faster or just having a few flat points in cooking to start, definitely useful. Now, as for negative stats, negative traits to avoid, you kind of want to avoid the big ones. That would be mouth breather, uh, by, well, anything that, well, bottomless stomach, anything that affects their scheduling. You don't want them, like, I don't mind if they have irritable bowel. That means they just take longer in the bathroom, but they're already there. It's if they have a small bladder, let's say, then they're going to be running back from the front line of where they've been mining or digging, go all the way back to the home base to use it, and then have to run all the way back. That's wasted time and oxygen. 
So just avoid anything that messes with their scheduling. Narcoleptics as well, usually not that useful. Uh, biohazardous, some people don't like this one, but so long as you're not going to be dismantling entire slime biomes at once without exosuits, this can usually be managed quite handily. Pacifist, squeamish, none of these are an issue. Now I will give an honorable mention to diver's lung. Diver's lung, very popular with a lot of people because it reduces oxygen consumption by 25% for the duplicates. However, these three duplicates will be doing a large amount of digging and research at the very start of the game. And having bonus skills to do that usually allows you to quickly secure your home area and get all the resources you need. Always useful, but I wouldn't recommend it.